Hi friends, welcome to SADWE English language class. Always hit the red button for notification of new videos whenever they come up. In our episode of the speech sounds, we want to look at another dimension under the consonant sounds. The consonant sounds, I told you that categorically, based on manner and places of articulation, they are grouped into different categories. Today we are looking single-handedly at the plosives. The plosives are part of these classifications of the consonant sounds. And when we talk about the plosives, these are the categories of the consonant sound classifications where there is a total abstraction of the air of air noticed during production. You notice some kind of abstraction, entire, complete abstraction in the flow of air during their production. And they are grouped into voiced and voiceless sounds. We need to explain these two concepts, voiced sound and voiceless sound. When we talk about the voice sounds, the voiced aspects of the plosives, the ones that are voiced, the ones that are voiceless. Now, when we talk about the voiced, they are the aspects of the sounds that when produced, we notice some kind of obstruction, that is not, sorry, some kind of vibration in our vocal cord some degrees of vibration that's why they are voiced but in the voiceless there is a kind of little or no vibration at all during their production that's what we mean by voiced and voiceless normally i told you that the plosives are six in number and they have their phonetic representation if you look at what we have on the board we have this one we have two three four five six well written in their different phonetic symbols and these phonetic symbols as you can see someone can be confused looking at them as alphabets but actually they are not they are not uh, alphabets they are rather phonetic symbols of the plosives under the consonant sounds the first one is sound p. sound p. for words like put we have the sound obtained here and we have people people we have the sound obtained here and here for people the next one is sip we have the sound here sip for word sip now the second one is b if you look at this two critically you notice that the articulation in the production of these two sounds is actually the same but the only difference we have here is that this is the voiceless sound while this two this one is the voiced aspect of it it is voiceless the first one because there is a little or no vibration at all noticed in your vocal cord but here we have a kind of degrees of obstruction vibration i mean noticed in the vocal cord so this is b if you demonstrate this sound you observe the vibration i am talking about it is sound b for words like bag for words like chamber and table so these are the places where we have the sound obtained bag chamber table the next one is sound t this is t, t. and in this sound it is also the voiceless sound because the vibration is very little or none at all realized in the vocal cord so we have it for words like sit this is where we have the sound sit kettle stopped sit kettle stopped now look at what we have here ed ends this word and here we are not concerned about the spelling we are only interested in the sound that is obtained here and what sound do we have here sound t. as it is pronounced thus stopped stopped so that's it remember always 
that we don't focus mainly on the spellings of words, but the sounds that are produced in such words. The next one is D. D. And this one belongs to the category of the voiced, the voiced sound. Because when we do that, when we produce this, you notice, you observe the vibration in your vocal cord. Now, this is seed. And look at where we have the sound for seed. And do, the second one, do. And the last one is seed. So from the examples, of course, we have too many other examples. From what we have on the board, we have three of them possessing this sound. The first one, seed, do, send. The next one is k, sound k. This is also belonging to the voiceless, the voiceless sound because of the level of vibration observed in the vocal cord. The, next, uh, the examples we have is car, the first one. K for car, k for chemists, k for king. Car, chemists, king. Now look at where we have the sounds obtained from the examples. The final one is g sound g and this is the voice where we have vibration noticed in our vocal cord now for this we have examples such as game game the next one eager eager and the final one wig that's it wig game eager wig now we notice that the same sound g, is obtained from the first example where I have underlined, the second one in the middle, and the third one in the final position of the letter. Kindly subscribe to my channel. It will always give you notification each time we upload a new video.